Hello YouTube. I thought I'd do a quick video on my experience with the uh, Norton 901. Uh, I've had a couple of pretty major problems with it. Uh, the build quality, I guess, uh, being produced by KTM is about what I've read on the internet. Um, so the first issue I had was uh, a hose clamp on the radiator hose up inside here. And they've made a little gap here. Uh, for the exhaust, but it allows you to get a uh, socket up in there, a six millimeter socket. And uh, if you uh, go up in there with a long extension and a six millimeter socket, you can just get it on there uh, to, uh, to tighten that hose. Now, the first time I got in there, I actually took all the plastic off, the gas tank loosened it, uh, all that and loosen the radiator to uh, move it forward. But I actually found, I didn't have a, uh, a, a one of those joints that you use on a socket, so I couldn't uh, bend it to get it up on that uh, bolt that uh, tightens the hose. So uh, what I did was I ended up using the uh, quarter inch set and used a small extension on the end and it made a, gave it enough pivot to where I could go back up in there and uh, tighten it. So I tightened it the first time and I was gonna make this video and I was looking up in there and it was still leaking. So uh, I got in there and got it tightened again. So hopefully that fixes it. The next issue was with the uh, gas tank. Uh, had an extremely strong fuel smell coming out of the bike. And even to the point where my wife didn't wanna ride on it anymore. And I couldn't figure out, I put my nose down in the bottom where the engine is and by the radiator and I could smell fuel. And surprisingly, I didn't really smell it around the cap. And so anyway, uh, that's what it ended up being is this cap. And uh, so the way I fixed that, uh, so I, I looked around under there, couldn't find any fuel leaks. Uh, and like I said, uh, Rottweiler, performance i think it was had a video on how to take everything apart which was really helpful so i took it all apart and then uh i said well maybe it is a fuel cap so i uh got and i was going to start uh i started looking at it and this little latch here was not lined up with that lip that's right there and so i went to loosen these bolts here so i could twist it a little bit and they were like finger tight and so maybe that wasn't allowing it to suck down, uh, this to suck down onto that cap hard enough. But anyway, I tightened all this up. Uh, actually, I turned this as best I could to where that latch was lined up and then tightened it while I was putting pressure on it. And then, so now uh, I don't have that smell uh, as strong at all. I have had it where uh, I have it fuel, uh, full of fuel and I'm doing like curves or going through some uh, gravel roads or something like that. And I can still get a little whiff of it. So I'm not sure what I'll do. I'll probably just tighten this a little more maybe. Um, like I said, I don't think it's pushing this uh, seal here strong enough against the uh, gas tank. Uh, so anyway, it's bearable now. I only smell it every once in a while. Uh, so I think I can pretty well call that fixed. Um, and this thing is about the hardest thing to get the gas cap closed on. You have to push down and like push back like that and then release the, uh, cap. But anyway, so, uh, those are the two major issues. I put these, uh, saddlebags on and there was a bolt loose in the back uh so that was another thing so if you get one of these things and you're going to go on a trip you probably need to go through it uh especially check that uh radiator hose on the top of the engine and make sure that thing's tight and then uh if you're smelling fuel do that uh change that i made on the fuel tank uh other than that <laughs> Uh, I really like the bike. I mean, I love it. Uh, I've had uh, new motorcycles uh, since the 1990. I bought my first new one. Been riding since uh, the 70s. Uh, bought sport bikes and uh, uh, motocross bikes. Uh, I've had probably 20, probably about 10 new ones of each. This is absolutely the first new motorcycle I've actually had to put a wrench to 
within the first two months of owning it. Uh, all my other bikes were Honda, Kawasaki, and Yamaha. So uh, the build quality on these things is absolutely what you hear on the internet. It's not as good as the, the Japanese brands. But when I rode this thing, uh, I've been without a motorcycle for a while. And uh, it was first got on it, driving home from the dealership. I live about 60 miles from the dealership. I live in the hill country in the Texas. And uh, I got on these back roads coming home. And uh, it's, it's the best I've felt in years. <laughs> I mean, it was... Uh, uh, one of these feelings I hadn't felt in 20 years. I felt like I was on a sport bike, and I believe this thing handles and has the power of a 90s and uh, 80s and 90s and early 2000s sport bike. Uh, the last bike I had new that really made me feel like this was a CBR 929. I mean, it was just, uh, I got a, it was amazing getting on it and coming home. Uh, I couldn't believe the motorcycle. It's amazing. So, uh, I've been without a motorcycle for a while, and that may be the reason why it was so, I think it's uh, so exciting. I know the new sport bikes have 200 horsepower. This has 105, like they did back when I was riding. But uh, I love the bike. Uh, we've gone on a lot of trips on it uh, to the, like I said, uh, state parks around Texas. Uh, we really enjoy riding over there, and then we'll do some hiking uh, one of the things I really like that I bought was this uh, Cortex uh, tank bag. And it fits on there, and then it turns into a backpack so that whenever we uh, go to these state parks and we hike, uh, we just uh, put that, I'll put that on the backpack, and we'll have all of our uh, sunglasses and water, bo water bottles and uh, hats and all that stuff that we need. And so that's very handy. Uh, I got that on Walmart is like 80 bucks, something like that. And it was, uh, Walmart was cheaper than, about $20 cheaper than anyone else on that one. And then I got these uh, Tusk Paneers uh, from Rocky Mountain ATV. And I uh, got the racks with them. And the things, I uh, really like those. Got the water bottle in there. Oh, the extra water bottle. I think you can get the whole set for like 300 bucks, something like that. And then uh, I also got these handlebar risers off of Amazon, and I'll put uh, I'll put the links in the description. Although I don't uh, get any kind of kickbacks or anything like that for this stuff, but uh, all this stuff I actually do like. Uh, on the handlebar risers, uh, I've had to really kind of make those work. The, I can't get them in the position I want because this uh, this clutch cable is so short uh, when you turn it all the way, uh, this gets tight even how I have it. I had to move uh, the uh, clutch over uh, about an inch. Not even like these things to be a little bit taller, uh, but I've got them about as far as I can get them up there uh, because uh, moving that clutch over, now it hits there. So I had to extend my uh, clutch lever so I can gauge this quicker. Um, and you know, it's not that big of a deal because most of the time I'm using the, uh, quick shifter. And so, uh, I'm not having to do the clutch very much and reach for it. But, uh, at some point I'm going to have to get a longer clutch cable so I can pull all this stuff back, uh, and then raise the bars a little more. But, uh, another thing I really like on this thing is this, uh, Trekker Outback case. Uh, it locks up uh and just one uh i guess uh handle right here you pull it the whole thing comes off and i can leave it or bring it whenever i want uh and i really like that it's a very good quality uh aluminum and uh it's been uh, i've been very happy with it it also gives my wife a backrest to lean on and we got these seats uh air cushion seats. I know a lot of the people online have said how comfortable this bike is and maybe my butt isn't used to riding for a long time. So, uh, but anyway, we got uh, three of these things and put on the bike and uh, we really like them. They're that, I think they're like $40 each on Amazon. So, uh, they're not that expensive, 120 bucks. You can get three. And, uh, my wife really likes it. Uh, I turned this one backwards and put, uh, some hard, foam right here to kind of keep her in place and 
but like I said, we really uh, makes it a lot more comfortable for us. Uh, I'm an old man, so I uh, need as much cushion as I can get. But other than that, I've been extremely, I mean, as far as the performance of the bike, I've been very happy with it. Uh, I would, uh, I mean, if you don't mind turning a wrench, uh, which I really don't like doing that anymore. I used to work on my own bikes uh, a while back, but I've gotten lazy. But if you don't mind doing that and you're a little younger than me, this is probably an awesome bike for you. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. So if you got any questions or if y'all have had the same problems, just uh, send me a message and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.